We had some rain, but some mm -hmm. sunny skies now ahead for the rest of the yeah. weekend, Rob Ellis. Looks like a dry pattern is going to emerge at least for a few days. But, you know, look, over the past week or so, we've received a significant amount of rain. It is some good news. We didn't like to see the flooding, right. but we needed all of this rain. And I wanted you to take a look at a map. This is going to be the last seven days of precipitation across the area. I mean, you really see the bullseye over Chicago, and part of that is from Sunday, and then part of that is from the middle of the week where additional heavy rain came down. Now, you think it's a lot of rain here. Here, but look at the broader view. There were parts of uh, central Illinois and central Indiana that have really been hammered with rain and storms. Again, some of this is very beneficial. What you don't need, though, is all of it to happen at one time. We would like this to be spread out over several days or even weeks. It has helped the drought a little bit. A new drought monitor comes up every uh, Thursday where they kind of meander some of these colors, these patches of the moderate or severe drought or even extreme drought for parts of Missouri. Things are starting to improve, but we definitely definitely need more rain in our forecast. We need a pattern of consistent rain and we just haven't seen that. Now the system that came through this morning will add more rain onto that. The totals that we've seen over the past seven days or so still some scattered showers with that along the Ohio River Valley. But outside of that, it is a clearing trend for us and it is one that means our next maybe two or three days pretty quiet. 62 for tonight will clear the skies for the most part. I'm still going to call it partly cloudy skies. Still a bit of an east wind, but nothing to write home about. Some locations able to cool down into the 50s, although there may be some patchy fog that develops during the overnight. So just watch for that if you're going to be traveling early morning. And then future clouds and radar will keep things pretty quiet through tomorrow morning. We start in the 60s, at least for the city, 50s elsewhere. And then a lot of sunshine is expected to move our temperatures into the 80s. Now, some of the models are kicking up a little isolated shower for tomorrow. I think the chance is small enough that I'm going to leave it out, but I will certainly be keeping my eye on the radar for sure. And then heading into Monday with all of the sunshine that we're receiving and a bit of a southwest wind, we should be able to get close to 90 for your Monday forecast. So when you look at the trend, it certainly is a warm up with 80s for tomorrow and near 90 for Monday and Tuesday. We do cool the temperatures a bit as we head into Wednesday through the weekend. We also introduce some rain chances. Now I know this may look a little bit ominous here, with some of these lightning bolts on the uh, icons. However, just know that these rain chances are about 20 to 30 percent. We're going to settle into a summertime pattern with afternoon thunderstorms just about every single day, but it won't be a complete washout through the weekend. Rob, thank you. Yeah.